the continuation from the new audit. Let us look at, uh, I mean, the continuation from the settlement of disputes. Let us look at the proofs, uh, the proofs, the methods of proof and burden of proof. So, first of all, we need to know uh, the meaning of the proof. The meaning of proof is an affidavit, affidavit, an affidavit, affidavit is like an evidence, an affidavit which shows, uh, which shows uh, the, which shows that, that taxpayer, uh, that taxpayer acted, acted, Contrary, uh, contrary, uh, acted contrary uh, to uh, tax laws, to tax laws. And how about the methods of proof? Methods of, you need to know the methods of proof. Number one method is the entries. In the premise, in the premises of taxpayer, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, another method here is uh, all types, all types of proof are allowed. Uh, all types of proof are allowed. Are allowed. Except, uh, except, except of. Another proof uh, here you can say information from third party like bank. Information uh, from third party, uh, from third party like uh, like banks like um, uh, receivables, like data and suppliers. Uh, the burden of proof here we are looking at uh, uh, who suffers the cost, who suffers the cost when you are struggling to, to prove, uh, to show the evidence, who suffers. So, uh, this this explains the two uh, the two parties. Um, the taxpayer suffers. The taxpayer suffers the cost, and tax administration also uh, suffers. Also suffers. Um, we need to find out the burden of of proof uh, born uh, the burden of proof uh, born by the tax admin by tax administration the tax administration uh, number one of the burden of proof is rectifying, rectifying, uh, rectifying the tax declarations, the tax declarations, the tax uh, declarations uh, of the taxpayer. Another uh, burden of proof here, you can say the applying for permission. Applying for permission uh, to search, applying for permission um, for a search warrant, for a search warrant, uh, for uh, for a search warrant, uh, eager to enter the premises, eager to. Enter 
Another proof you can see here is like uh, indicating uh, the methods of proof. The methods proof. I think here yeah, is applying the permission to ask information. The permission to ask uh, to ask the to ask the information uh, to ask the information from people bound uh, from people from people bound with a professional. Uh, the professional secrecy such as uh, such as the banks uh, such as banks uh, uh, such as banks uh, but you need you need permission you need permission uh, from Prosecutor, uh, prosecutor, prosecutor. Uh, here, let us look at the burden of proof borne by the taxpayer. The burden of proof borne by the taxpayer, uh, you can talk of uh, uh, the tax administrator starts an assessment procedure without notice. Tax assessment. Uh, starts tax assessment by uh, tax uh, tax administrator tax administrator starts assessment starts assessment uh, without without notice. Um, Another burden of proof here, the taxpayer starts an appeal to correct an intentional error. Taxpayer, uh, taxpayer uh, starts an appeal. An appeal. Uh, starts an appeal. Starts an appeal to correct. To uh, correct uh, some. Intentional error, some unintentional error. Uh, some intentional error. Uh, another, another one is uh, taxpayer wants to disapprove the contract of an affidavit. When a taxpayer wants to disapprove. To disapprove the uh, the to disapprove the content of the content of an affidavit to disapprove uh, the content of an affidavit. Look at the interest, the fines, and the penalties that are imposed the business people or to the taxpayers who have failed to pay tax, who has failed to, who have gone contrary uh, to what the tax laws requires them to, uh, to do. So first of, first of all, we need to know what is the interest. The interest here, uh, the interest rate is 1.5% uh, per month. And it is uh, charged uh, it is charged uh, on late payment. On late payment. Uh, another thing is the fines. Uh, here the fines. <coughs> uh, we have the fixed fines. Eh? The fixed fines uh, which are charged uh, for the failure to... Uh, the fixed fines which are... We have the fixed fines. Uh, which are charged are charged 
for the failure for the failure two number one for the failure to uh, declare the tax uh, declare the tax and uh, pay declare the tax on time the tax on time and uh, pay on time we have the fixed fine uh, where uh, where we where the taxpayer has failed to declare tax to declare tax and we have the we have uh, we have where the tax and the taxpayer has failed to withhold the tax. Uh, withhold the tax. Another one where the taxpayer has failed to, de uh, to keep proper books of account. To keep proper books of accounts. Uh, another fixed fine is on the when the taxpayer has co when he has failed to cooperate with a uh, tax with a uh, tax uh, with a tax collectors or tax administration i think here yeah, well, uh, we can talk of uh, but these ones are enough let's look at uh, let's look at uh, the administrative penalties that are related to violations of uh, provisions mentioned above here yeah, as follows. So the penalties here are 100, uh, 100,000 grand francs for a natural person not engaged in the commercial activity and taxpayers and a turnover equal to equal or less than uh, equal or less than uh, uh, less than uh, 20 million. So here, there is 100,000 100, 100, rand francs. If the turnover, if the turnover, uh, if the turnover is below 20 million, is below uh, 20 uh, million. And another penalty here, uh, it's 300. If the turnover is below, if the turnover is below, I mean, is above, is above 20 uh, millions. Another penalty can be the 500 uh, when, when the taxpayer, uh, the taxpayer, when it is large taxpayer, when it's a uh, right taxpayer. Also the penalties for the understatement, for the understatement of the tax. So here the penalties for understatement of the tax, uh, there is uh, a penalty for 5%, uh, 5 percent of Amount understated uh, for the amount understated. If the if um, if the understatement if the understatement uh, understatement statement is between five percent. And ten percent. Uh, there is another understatement, um, another penalty where uh, there is ten percent of amount of amount understated, understated of amount understated. If understatement, if understatement. 
is between 10% uh, uh, to 20%. Uh, and there is also another penalty for 20% if understatement for 20% of amount understated understated is uh, understated is understatement understatement is understatement um, if if understatement is between 12 uh, 20 percent to 50 uh, percent uh, there is also another uh, statement this is uh, 20 when it is less than when it is greater than 20 but less than 50 so uh, another statement here is the understatement of 50 percent understatement of 50 percent of amount understated understated if understatement if understatement is above 50 percent of the question i've sent you uh, about uh, about the the penalties and the fines so the solution look at the solution of the question that is in the description I've sent you or in the email I've sent you uh, here the solution we need to first of all find out the amount understated understatement understatement amount understatement amount understatement amount here uh, it is 3.8 million uh, minus uh, 3.8 million this is the amount that they were supposed to declare and they paid 2 millions only so that means that the difference is 1.8 uh, 1.8 uh, so that means that this is the amount they understated so uh, and the other thing is to look at the percentage the percentage of understatement percentage of understatement. The percentage of understatement here uh, it is 18 I mean uh, 1.8 divide by 3.8 uh, 3.8 here then it gives me the percentage of 47.3% uh, percent. so therefore this understatement uh, this percentage is between uh, is between 20 and 50 is between 20 and 50 since the percentage since the percentage is more than uh, is more than uh, 20 but less than uh, 50 percent but less than 50 percent then the fine will be 20 percent so the fine will be uh, 20 uh, percent the fine will be the 20 uh, percent of the amount understated therefore it is 20 percent times 1.8 times 1.8 which gives me uh, 3 point, uh, 360 uh, thousand uh, 360 thousand so therefore this one should be added to the amount that was understated should be added to the amount that was supposed to be uh, that were understated additional tax to be paid will be 18 i mean 1.8 plus 360 uh, which uh, gives me the, uh, which gives me uh, 2 million uh, 2 million 160,000